I actually think it's quite simple. In my opinion, to be a lawyer means to ensure that everyone has access to justice. And it's actually that simple. I was actually born in Colombo, Sri Lanka, and my family moved first to, uh, to Zambia in Africa, and we also spent a bit of time in Scotland, where my grandparents were based before we moved to New Zealand. I'd say it definitely started with my mum. So when I was about 12 or 13, she told me the story of my dad's second cousin, Richard de Souza, who was a journalist in Sri Lanka. He was known for writing things that were fairly critical about the government um, and he sort of knew that he had been targeted by the government and because of that he arranged to get a job with Reuters, um, I think it, it was somewhere in Scandinavia. The night before he was due to fly off for this job he was picked up by the secret police, my mum told me. And then the following morning his body was found washed up on a beach. It just sort of sank under my skin and it felt really uncomfortable and I felt like I needed to do something about it. I found myself particularly drawn to children's rights issues because to me it felt like children and young people were often the most voiceless and powerless in communities. And that's what really led me to my role with Youth Law where I'm currently the General Manager. Youth Law allows me to focus on the issues affecting children and young people here in New Zealand. And that's also led me to work with Action for Children and Youth Aotearoa, uh, an organisation who report to the United Nations on how well New Zealand's doing in terms of compliance with children's rights. I think too often we focus on this idea that the architecture we build, so institutions or laws, uh, are going to stand <laughs> when change happens so frequently. I'd say the big thing for me would be investing in transgenerational ethics, so trying to influence my kids but also their generation and beyond into focusing on the importance of being kind, on focusing on how they make decisions and making sure they're evidenced and they're not afraid to challenge each other and to challenge themselves um, and really take that human rights lens or approach into whatever they do.